and we will talk about the awesome team announcements that we have. Um, as you know, to run a business, you need to have um, a few things, um, a great business concept, which I hope we have, I'm sure we have. And also you need a very strong community, which is, you know, all of you. Thank you very much for being here. But last, but certainly not least, we need a strong team to execute the vision, to execute the plans, and to execute the will of the community. Because as a DAO, after all, the, uh, the project belongs to the community. And I am very, very excited to welcome Ira Birezina, our operations lead. Uh, you've met her in Dubai. Um, she um, looked after so many of you and answered all of your questions, uh, answered all of your questions and helped you and so many of you um, reached out personally thanking for her amazing support so Ira, thank you very much for being here and thank you for for joining and of course um, if you saw our videos from Malta Ira was the one accepting uh, the awards and um, networking with you know powerful um, representatives from the blockchain industry during the awards while I was in the dark corner <laughs> signing uh, signing um, signing agreements. So thank you very much, Ira, for holding the fort and thank you very much. Do you want to give um, a few words uh, describing, you know, uh, your your uh, experience to date, telling us how much um, excited, how excited you are about the Web3 economy, about the DeFi projects and um, just, you know, in, introduce yourself. Tell us your favorite hobby. <laughs> thank you so much, Irina, for introduction. And um, I thank you so much for welcoming me to the team as well. To be honest, I'm really thrilled working with you guys. You've been very inspirational. Irina and Alex, like, I feel like I learned so much from you last couple of months. I've learned probably more than uh, last few years. And there is a long way to go. So I feel like I will be focusing on um, bringing amazing projects and particularly I'll be focusing on quality and speed from operation side and that will be my main concern. And again, the growth strategy that we will be implementing, the next, uh, that will be my next focus. And of course, always putting community in the center and working with Shaila. I'm very excited to welcome her as well to our team. Thank you so much, guys. Yes, so Shaila is joining as a community lead. Today is your day one or day two already? I think it's day two right now. Okay, uh -huh. so you're fully uh, <laughs> on board and, and, and the work is continuing. That's great. Yeah. Thank you, Shaila. So as, as, as we... Uh, as I always say, you know, DAO, Web3, DeFi projects, it's all about community. Without community, we could just all, um, you know, win nothing without a community. So we, uh, we're super excited um, uh, that Shaila is joining us, has joined us as a community lead. Um, what do we need from the community? We need to uh, support the community. We need to execute the wishes of the community, we need to um, engage the community because the community is only not only, you know, backers of the projects, but the community are also contributors that will be earning from uh, um, participating in the DAO, DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization. Not only it has the, uh, the council members and the team that are working, but also a lot of uh, participants, which will go into the details a little bit later. Shaila, do you want to give us a few uh, minutes? What, are you, what excites you most about the DeFi projects, your plans, how are you going to work with our awesome community who are watching us right now? And, you know, give us your, tell us your favorite hobby. Brilliant. So my name is Shyla. I've been in blockchain for about five years on and off. Um, and I mainly have worked as a community lead in comms and as um, like community manager managing communications from like team down to the, the community, making sure that everything's aligned, etc. Um, what I'm finding exciting about the opportunities that I've got with Uplift is uh, my background is actually I was a teacher for 10 years. So I was uh, teaching computing as well as business. So I'm finding that I'm getting to put those two passions together um, and be able to educate 
um, and impart knowledge on the community by producing, you know, um, guides and walking them through, you know, with walkthrough guides and just answering all their questions, making sure that everything that we deliver is digestible, it's accessible, and it's basically what the community needs. So we'll be working with the community. I'll be working, you know, face to face with the community quite a lot, trying to understand what their needs are and answering their needs directly. Um, and just making sure that we're all in it together and there's nobody that's sort of feeling left out or feeling like they don't completely understand things. This is going to be a lot going on over the next few months with the new projects and, you know, the different strategies and ways that you can earn money and contribute, etc., and be part of the DAO. Um, and just all of that knowledge is just going to be made a lot more um, digestible, I think. And I'm looking forward to doing that. I'm looking forward to being the, the voice piece to impart that knowledge to, to the community. Awesome. And just in case you did not know, uh, we uh, are preparing submissions to nominate us as the community blockchain community of the year, which will happen in Q1 um, 2022. So we won the accelerator of the year thanks to our huge community. But uh, um, uh, uh, another project, which is quite large, won the, uh, won the community of the year. So our goal now, within the next three months, four months, to beat one of the largest communities in the crypto space and to get the award for the community of the year. Do you think we can do that? I'm sure we can. There's so many of us and everybody is so passionate from what I see. So, so many people want to get involved and I don't see why we can't. Fantastic. Here you go. Here's our uh, uh, community KPI for Q1 2022, <laughs> uh, the award of the community of the year. And knowing how passionate our uh, people are, I'm sure we'll get it. And what's your, um, what's your hobby that you want to tell us about? I feel like um, I don't really have much time for a hobby at the moment, but I've got two children, so they're my hobbies. Um, spending time with them is just yeah. beyond words for me, um, especially I think since lockdown, I think I've got a lot more value for just family and just spending time with family and just making moments, really, really amazing moments with, with family. Um, so yeah, I think that's the most important thing to me outside of my work <laughs> fair enough fair enough what hobbies you wake up you work you you fall asleep uh, while working you know welcome to blockchain yeah. welcome exactly. to blockchain space and of course another exciting announcement that the marketing lead has uh um, is in the process of joining she's leaving her current commitments and she's joining uh, as of january 1st i'm not sure what is happening everybody keeps complaining how blockchain and crypto space does not have enough women and that women are uh, discriminated against, whereas our community seems to be driven by, you know, strong professional women. And I'm very excited about this. So our marketing manager, our CMO is joining um, as of January 1st. Alex, our lead developer is, um, is a woman as well, right? No, I believe so. We have a lot of uh, lead developers. My my head is all mess, but she uh, she is exactly. she is a person. Her name is Mary. She's leading the project uh, from the technical standpoint. And, and I just wanted to expand briefly on the amazing team building job that we did, and just to tell my angle about uh, Ira and Shiloh. Right. So what has Ira done first? she is the person who set up the hr pipeline all of new candidates that we've got was just due to her organizing it. second she's in the process right now of landing a partnership she's basically chasing this firm that we really really would like to partner up with for like a week she's calling them messaging them and i believe if she gets like a couple of seconds she would land this partnership and she also brought a couple of potential ideal projects uh, for us and we are in the process of active communication. We're just building it up, uh, asking the allocations, the tokens, scheduling the dates, preparing the necessary marketing. And this is what uh, Ira contributed already. And she would contribute much, much more. And my personal um, impression about Shaila is once we kind of signed Shaila, she immediately is like, hey, I need to talk to all of your community leaders. 
I, I don't, I don't even need you guys. Just give me community leaders and she dive deeply, uh, schedule a call with all of them, get to know them get to know the community, the problems. Uh, she started to structure it, get submissions, see who's actually actively contributing and, uh, and so on. Now, this kind of leads us to the community part, right? To the DAO part. And uh, finally, since we have Shaila, we'll be able to start structuring properly, right? Soon, we'll have the IDO infrastructure in place. And that thing is going to be running. So what's our next step? Our next step is to truly use the power of our DAO. We're going to have a structure. We're going to have community leaders that are going to work within this structure. And they would be incentivized and they would be paid for their actions, for the value that they bring in uh, lift tokens, of course. Um, and well, that's a huge task for, uh, for Shaila, for all of us. I have no idea how to even approach it because the DAO market, the, the whole concept of DAO is quite new, but uh, I'm confident that we'll be able to uh, handle it. Um, next, next in the main, this week, we're going to have the KYC online. This is on the tech side. So you'll be able to pass the KYC process. This would give you a couple of benefits. First, you will be able to refer new people to staking. Second, you'll be able to participate in the IDO. You only need to pass the KYC once and then you're kind of ready to go. Uh, we, we landed a beautiful company called Amfida, uh, just one of the guys' connections. They are amazing. Uh, we did all our best to not gather any of your guys' data to just send it over to this KYC provider to keep everything as clean as possible. And then, then after this KYC stage, you'll be able to start seeing uh, IDO projects. And again, you have our first IDO, December 16th. Uh, we might have another IDO because we're in the active process of communications there and uh, yeah lots of exciting stuff very soon very much very soon um i think i think that's it yes that's um that's uh, a lot of that's a lot of news for people to digest and for uh, for people to get excited about um first large ido and um a few more IDOs will follow next week, so we'll mention that um, due diligence is ongoing, and uh, of course the uh, the plan is to uh, the plan and the mission and the and the only thing we should do is and must do is to bring the best projects. So uh, that's why there's a lot of due diligence and a lot of um, confirmation that is going on, and uh, new team members are joining, and the uh, existing team members uh, will start. Um, we'll start working on the community uh, and we'll continue working um, on the operational side. So quite exciting times and very busy times and um, wishing you a um, great week ahead and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.